All right, is everybody ready for story time? Me too. So today we are going to need our best imagination. So get ready, get creative. And we're going to read a story called Little Cloud by Eric Carle. The little clouds drifted slowly across the sky, but little cloud trailed behind. Everybody see little cloud down here at the bottom? The clouds pushed upward and away. Little cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of houses and trees. The clouds moved out of sight and little cloud changed into a giant cloud. Look how big he's gotten. Little cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. Little cloud changed into an airplane. Little cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. Next, Little Cloud changed into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. Little Cloud changed into two trees. Little Cloud liked the way trees never moved and stayed in one place. Those two different trees. Little Cloud changed into a rabbit. Little Cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Then, Little Cloud changed into a hat. Because, why do you think he changed into a hat? Little Cloud changed into a clown and he needed a hat. The other clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little cloud, little cloud, they called, come back. Little cloud drifted towards the other clouds. Then all the clouds changed into one big cloud. And what do you think happens now? It rained. What do we call that part of the water cycle? Who remembers? Precipitation. Good job. The end. So, we are going to go check back in with Hannah next because she's going to go out on a cloud watching adventure. So, make sure you keep those imaginations turned on because just like Little Cloud, the clouds up above our heads are always changing shapes. So, we're going to go see what kinds of shapes we can find right outside in those clouds. See you all soon.